big air force is trying to keep me but i ain't trying to stay in this shit hell no bye bye If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome, sit down, sit down. I've said this 50 million times already, but I am an Air Force veteran and I've been going through a med board for the past like two years almost. And I just got a phone call about what the results are and I'm going to tell y'all about it. Just to give y'all some background, my med board was initiated because before I left active duty, I was having chronic ankle pain from a uh, ankle injury I had in basic training. But due to overtraining and just being active over time, that ankle injury got worse. On top of some mental health issues, I think that's it. I think that's why it was initiated. Mostly because of my ankle. Because of my ankle, I'm unable to run, so I can't do a full fitness test. Um, I can only do push-ups and sit-ups. So yeah, I left active duty back in June 2021 and I palace chase into the reserves. And so what that means is I would leave active duty early. So I left active duty like six months early <laughs> so I can go to school. And then I would just have to finish out my enlistment plus double what I had left on my active duty contract on the reserve. So since I had six months left, they went ahead and made it like a year and a half that I had to complete. So I was literally in the reserves for two years. Okay, so a few days ago, I received a phone call from my Peblo, which is the person who's in charge of turning in all your documents for the med board and basically like your liaison for the whole med board process. She sent some shit to the Air Force Reserve headquarters and they had a quick turnaround with getting her a response back. So fast forward, Big Air Force is returning me to duty. First of all, why the fuck did it take two years to let me know that y'all are just gonna try to keep me in the Air Force? Like, y'all wanna wait till a few weeks before I separate to be like, yeah, you can stay in if you want to. Second of all, this makes no sense because how am I gonna return to duty when I can't run? So, my Pavlo was like, I guess I can deploy as long as it's in the United States um, and there's a medical facility at the deployed location. Why would you send me on deployment and I can't run? What if there's a situation where I'm being attacked and I need to get away from my goddamn attacker but I can't because I can't fucking run. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Just stop, drop, and roll? That's the only thing I can do because my ass, if I sprint, I'm gonna be more fucked up than I am now. On another note, the mental health issue, I could be a liability. Yes, if you send me to a deployed location that has a medical and mental health facility, that can help. But why would you send somebody that has a severe anxiety disorder with episodic depression on deployment when that diagnosis came from being in the military? Make it, make it make sense. Make it make sense. So yeah, the results are I can return to duty. Um, I would just be monitored for the next two years. I think they said for 2025. But like I already said, my separation date is in August. So I asked my Pablo, I'm like, am I safe to just continue out processing because I don't want to stay in the Air Force. Hell no, you can't pay me enough to stay in this shit, okay? And she was like, yeah, that's fine. We hate to lose you. Bombastic side eye. So yeah, I actually started out processing. The bad thing is I'm trying to do everything electronically and they keep trying to get me to come up there and I'm like, um, I'm not gonna drive five hours just to turn in a sheet of fucking paper. Y'all can verify this shit virtually and call it a day. On a side note, 
I'm not really surprised that they returned me to duty because I remember I went to the Dollar Tree not too long ago and I was just in there getting like some little stuff. I just love going to Dollar Tree because it's a damn Dollar Tree. Why not? And it was a damn Army National Guard recruiter in there and he stopped me and he was like, hi, are you interested in joining the military? <laughs> Sir. I've been in the Air Force for the past seven and a half years, okay? You can save it. I'm already in. I'm trying to get the fuck out, okay? So we had a little sidebar conversation. He was like, they're really hurting for numbers. And he was even telling me about a sign-on bonus I can get. But I was like, yeah, I don't plan on staying in. I don't want to switch over to another branch. That's not happening either. I just want to be done. So, yeah, apparently the military is really hurting, struggling to retain people and get new people. Which is they motherfucking fault because it's issues like the ones I have that cause people to leave. And yeah, I just thought that was funny as shit. Trying to recruit me at the Dollar Tree. So yeah, that's the update on my med board. I'm already compensated through the VA. I am um, considered a disabled veteran. So I'm not too worried about the med board because I was already covered. I was just trying to see what the Air Force had to say, whether they were going to retire me, which I highly doubted that anyway, or if they were just going to medically separate me, which they didn't. They decided they wanted to keep me if I wanted to stay, which I don't. So, <laughs> if y'all have any other questions or if I said something that you're like, bitch, what the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. I've never been in the military before. You need to break that shit down. Let me know down in the comments because I know it can be very frustrating. All right. I see y'all next time.